We're at a key moment in our borough's history. We have a long and proud record of providing public services for the local community, including good quality housing, schools and care for people from the cradle to the grave. At the same time, we have already sustained the deepest cuts in government support in the last few years. And further government cuts means that we face a big shortfall by 2020. We face a simple choice. We can do nothing and continue to cut services, or we can find new ways of delivering them. That's our challenge, and we all have a part to play. Embarking on Dagenham's 50th year, we celebrated the borough and all that we've achieved. We now need to look to the future to ensure that we continue to provide the services and support expected by our residents. We've already found significant savings to balance the current budget and allow us time to plan properly. But the 2015 general election brought a new government and new financial targets. By 2020, the cuts in funding will mean that the council will have roughly half the amount of money that we had to spend in 2010. Because of the growing needs of our residents, we estimate that if we did nothing, there would be a shortfall in our budget of £63 million by 2020. We're also facing further challenges with a changing and expanding population, while the expectations of our residents continue to grow. We need to provide modern, good quality service in ways that people want, solving problems efficiently online. Making cut after cut across services just won't work, especially if we're going to realise a vision for the borough. We know that when we're faced with big challenges, we can work with residents community organisations and businesses to find creative solutions. So we've asked an independent panel of experts, the Growth Commission, to look at the borough's potential for growth, including housing, business, transport and infrastructure, culture and heritage, urban design, educational attainment and skills, and employment. Their report includes 109 recommendations covering all aspects of the borough's growth, we also launched an extensive programme within the Council to bring ideas together from all areas of the organisation, giving us a fresh look at how we deliver services. We now have a set of proposals that we're consulting you on. If you live, work or run an organisation or business in Barking and Dagenham, we want to hear from you. Some opportunities that we've already identified include harnessing London's success for our own borough through projects like the Creative Industry Zone, the regeneration of Barking Town Centre, and new development at Bean Park in Dagenham, encouraging civic pride through events like our 50th anniversary celebrations, many of which were sponsored by local businesses or organised in partnership with community groups, enabling social responsibility by helping people to look after themselves in their local area with early intervention from us when needed, reducing demand for more costly services and getting more of our services to pay their way. For example, our legal practice now has other boroughs and major regional organisations as clients. The council has to change, and to do that successfully, we need to be innovative in how we deliver great outcomes for residents. We've already agreed the creation of London's first on-site youth zone in our borough, which is just one example of this. As a council, we're working hard to provide the best for residents through the services we provide. We know we need to do better, and with shrinking resources. We now need your input to help us redesign the way we deliver services. We can all be involved in shaping the borough's future. Changes over the coming years will affect us all, so we all have a part to play. You can find out all about the proposals and the consultation online and at libraries around the borough. We look forward to hearing from you by the 16th of June, 2016.